Novena had a plate of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, day 8, 26th of June. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Act of Contrition, my Lord Jesus Christ, true God and true man, my Father, my Redeemer, beyond at thy feet a poor sinner, who was so grievously afflicted thy loving heart, O lovable Jesus, how could I have offended thee and filled thee with bitterness, that heart that loves me so, and that has spared no effort to attain my love? How great has been my ingratitude, but O oh my Savior, be consoled, be consoled. I saw to thee, now I find myself repentant, such grief I feel for the affliction I have caused thee, that I would like to die of pure sorrow and contrition, O oh my Jesus. Who could make me weep for sin as thou hast wept for it on thy mortal life? My soul is oppressed for having offended thee, eternal Father. In satisfaction for my offenses, I offer thee the affliction and the sorrow the heart of thy divine Son has felt for them. And the whole of Jesus give me such horror for sin that from now on it, it may make me avoid even the most trivial of thoughts. Depart from my heart, heartly affections. I do not want to love anything now, but my most body for a redeemer. Hey, my Jesus, help me, strengthen me, and pardon me. My mother, hope perpetual help, intercede for me, and obtain for me the pardon for my sins. Preparatory prayer. O most blessed Virgin Mary, who to inspire us with boundless confidence, has been pleased to take the sweet name of our mother, who perpetual help. I implore thee to come to my head always and everywhere in my temptations, after my fall, in my difficulties, in all mysteries of life, and above all, at the hour of my death. Give me all of thee. Loving Mother, there be always to have recourse to thee, for I feel assured that if I am faithful in invoking thee, thou will be faithful in coming to my assistance. Obtain for me then this grace of grace, the grace to pray to thee without ceasing and with childlike trust, that by means of my constant plea, I may ensure my perpetual help and final perseverance. Bless our terror and solicitous mother. Pray for me now, here at the hour of my death. Amen. Meditation. Our Lady of Perpetual Help assists our devotees at the hour of death. Consider that although man needs the bearing help of Mary at all times and in all circumstances, Never, however, as much as in the Hazari of death, which are the great greatest that can be experienced in this world, terrible, indeed, very terrible, are the afflictions of the dying. Everything conspires to make those last moments terrible. The memory of sins committed, the fear of incomprehensive judgment of an offended God, the uncertainty of eternal salvation everything. Especially then, health harms itself and puts into action all its forces to possess the soul that is going to pass into eternity. Because it knows that only a little time remains before it is to be judged and that if it does not succeed in, in ruining it, it will be safe forever. That is why the wicked spirit, accustomed to tempting it in life, is not content solely with tempting it at the hour of death, but even calls its companion to help him. They say that at the moment of St. Andrew, a villain of death, 10,000 devils gathered in his cell to tempt him. But if at that time we have one, our side, the most powerful help of memory, we will be able to overcome us. And how will that gracious mother deny us ahead if we persevere in asking for it? 
she herself revealed to St. Gertrude that she grants it to her devotees at the point of death for as many times as they have employed her in life. Oh, my friend, how, how fortunate you will be if at the critical moment of death you find yourself bound by the chains of love of our Lady of Perpetual Help. These are the chains of salvation and of eternal glory. No, that tender mother does not know how to abandon her true devotees at that supreme moment. She is the mother of perpetual help, and just as she has helped them in time of their exile, so also she exhibits her sweetness at the hour of death, and obtains for them a sweet and happy death. And above all, showing herself worthy of the beauty, beautiful names she bears, she sends the prince, St. Michael, with all the angels to aid of her faithful dying children. So they go then to defend them from the snares of the devil and receive the souls of those who have continually commended themselves to her. She is not content with sending angels to find aid for her devotees. She herself will come in person to assist them in their last moment. Since that great day when she had the good fortune and at that same time, the sorrow of assisting her son Jesus, who is the first of the predestined, she obtained the grace of assisting all of them, also at terrible moment of death. That is why the Holy Church makes us pray for her, to help us especially in the hour of our death. Pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. And this is found to be in conformity with the Blessed Virgin, said to St. Bridget, speaking of her devotees, then my daughter is their mistress and mother. When they die, I will go out to meet them so they may have consolation and comfort. The loving queen covers their souls with her mantle and presents them to the judge, her son, and thus surely attains salvation for them. Christian, Although you may have been a sinner, you will not cease experiencing these consolations, provided that from now on you manage to live well and to serve your gracious and most amiable lady. In your anguish and in the temptation with which the devil will assault you at death to make you despair, our mother of perpetual help will give you fortitude and will come herself to defend you. And with such a mother and protector, what will you fear, O sinner? Though perpetual help burning, come therefore, I implore thee, come hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind, hear, O virgin pure, of even prayer of love that fly to thee above in thine exalted throne, come hasten to assist me. O oh, mother sweet and kind, stained by guilt and sin, I bow my head and cry, and at, the, and at thy feet I sing for clemency and love. Come, hasten to assist me. Free the careless soul from all its tepid ways, and set the soul ablaze with favor and devotion. Come, hasten to assist me. Wretched in this fall of pain and tribulation, for heaven consolation, I humbly beg of thee. Come, hasten to assist me. If my virtual ones, when the best hole and throw, my energies restore, behold, morning star, come, hasten to assist me. To thy faithful child, encouragement provides, and forward virtue guide is weak and steady step. Steps come, hasten to assist me, free my freckle heart from all its lassitude, and grant it for you to lead a sinless life. Come, hasten to assist me in the final clash with death, in all its pride. How great my soul delights! Then, if I can exclaim, Come, hasten to assist me in purgatory's fire, dear mother, please be sweet, great lady, I entreat. Alleviate my pain, come hasten to assist me. Grant me, mother dear, 
is found farewell to thee, to sing eternally with love and praise to thee. Come, hasten to assist me. O mother sweet and kind, O mother of perpetual hell, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They hate Novena, dear mother of perpetual hell, from the cross Jesus Christ gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Mention your intentions here. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored you thy help, so thy inner session was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O oh Virgin, O oh Virgin, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand. Sinful and sorrowful, O oh mother of the word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, what will become of me when I am at the point of delivering my soul to God? From now on, when I consider my sins, when I think of that terrible moment, that must decide my salvation or my eternal perdition, I begin to tremble and become perplexed. Oh, my mother of perpetual help, do not abandon me in that tremendous hour. What will become of me if thou does abandon me in that supreme moment? Oh, Holy Virgin, my hope, come to my aid in this tremendous anguish in which I will then be held prisoner. Fortify me when the devil wants to fling me into despair by the memory of the sins I have committed. Obtain for me the grace to invoke thee, then more often than ever, so that I may die hearting thy most sweet name, together with that of thy adorable son, and that I may die loving God and loving thee to go forward to love thee eternally in paradise. Amen. Close in prayer, I greet thee. Ever blessed Virgin, Mother of God, Throne of Grace, Miracle of a Mighty Power, I greet thee. Sanctuary of the Most High Trinity, Queen of the Universe, Mother of Mercy, Refuge of Sinners, Most Lovable Mother, attracted by your beauty and sweetness and by your tender compassion, I confidently turn to you and beg of you to obtain for me of your dear son the favor I request in this novena. State your specific request here. Obtain for me also, Queen of Heaven, the most lively condition for my many sins, and the grace to imitate closely those virtues which you practice so faithfully, especially humility, purity, obedience, and above all, I beg you to be my mother, my proctress, and to receive me in the number of your devoted children, and to guide me from your high throne of glory. Do not reject my petitions, Mother of Mercy, have pity on me. Do not abandon me during life or at the moment of my death. Dora of the Eternal Father, Mother of the Eternal Son, Spouse of the Holy Spirit, Temple of Adorable Trinity, pray for me, Immaculate and Tender Heart of Mary, Refuge of the Needy and Hope of Sinners, filled with most lively respect, love and gratitude. I devote myself forever to your service, and I offer you my heart with all that I am and all that is mine. Accept this offering, sweet queen of heaven and earth, and obtain for me, of your dear son, Jesus Christ, the favor I ask. 
through you in this session, in this novena. Obtain for me also a generous, constant love of God, perfect submission to his holy will, the true spirit of Christian, and the grace of final perseverance. Amen. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, anyone who fled to thy protection, implore thy help, so thy intercession was left unheeded, is paired with his confidence, I fly unto thee. O oh, Virgin, O oh, Virgin, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O oh, Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Example, a woman from the Fontificial State went one day to Rome to venerate the mirror, the miraculous image of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. A priest to whom she entrusted herself asked her what was the motive that she had decided to undertake a long trip. She answered him, my husband, told me several times that in his church, a very miraculous image of a virgin called Our Lady of Perpetual Help was venerated. He oftenly commended himself to her and received many graces through her intercession. A little while ago, he died. When he approached death, he said to me that he saw Our Lady at his bedside. He received such consolation from this apparition that he seemed not to feel the pain of death. And he died so gently and piously that I have no doubt about his salvation. And my greatest happiness would be to die as he did. May the Virgin of Perpetual Health be loved, praised, invoked, eternally blessed. May she be my hope, my love, my mother, my refuge, my life. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, very full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now on the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead our souls into heaven, and especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. O oh Mother of Perpetual Help, listen to our pleading souls. You can help us in our needs. Mary, with hope, we call on you. O oh Mary, help us. 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 O oh Mary, 
help us, O oh Mary, help us, O oh Mary, help us, O oh Mary, help us, O oh Mary, help us, O oh Mary. Help us. Mary has helped us. Mary wants to help us. Mary can help us. Mary will help us. Oh, Mother of Perpetual Health, listen to our pleading souls. You can help us in our needs. Mary with hope, we call on you. Oh, Mary, help us. Oh, Mary, help us. Oh, Mary. Help us, O oh 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 Mary. Help us. Mary has helped us. Mary wants to help us. Mary can help us. Mary will help us. O oh Mother of Perpetual Help, listen to our pleading souls. You can help us in our needs. Mary with hope, we call on you. Oh Mary, help us. 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 Oh Mary. Help us. Mary has helped us. Mary wants to help us. Mary can help us. Mary will help us. Oh, Mother of Perpetual Help, listen to our pleading souls. You can help us in our needs. Mary with hope, we call on you. Oh, Mary, help us. Oh, Mary, help us. Oh, Mary, help us. Oh, Mary, help us. Oh, Mary. Help us, O oh Mary, 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 help us. Mary has helped us. Mary wants to help us. Mary can help us. Mary will help us. O oh Mother of Perpetual Help, listen to our pleading souls. You can help us in our needs. Mary with hope, we call on you. Oh Mary, help us. 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 Mary has helped us. Mary wants to help us. Mary can help us. Mary will help us. We fly to your patronage, O oh Holy Mother of God. Despise not my petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from dangers. O oh, ever glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, our Lady of oh, Perpetual Help, pray for us. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, you eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show us the blessed fruit of the womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Litany of Our Lady, O perpetual help. Lord of mercy on us, Christ of mercy on us, Lord of mercy on us. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. We sinners call to thee, O Mary, ever help us. That we may love God with our whole hearts. O Mary, ever help us. That we may be comfortable in all things to thy divine Son. O Mary, ever help us. That we may have a tender and heartfelt devotion to thee, most holy Virgin. O Mary, ever help us. That we may hate with all our strength, sin, the hold the evil. O Mary, ever help us. That we may frequently remember our last end. O oh Mary, ever help us. 
that we may hopefully and henceforthly receive the most holy sacrament. O oh, Mary, ever help us that we may avoid with all our strength proximate occasion of sin. O oh, Mary, ever help us that we may not neglect prayer a single day of our life. O oh, Mary, ever help us that we may have recourse to prayer in the hour of temptation. O oh, Mary, ever help us that we may generously forgive our enemies and wish well all men. O oh, Mary, ever help us that we may not defer our conversion from day to day. O oh, Mary, ever help us that we may zealously labor to overcome our bad habits. O oh, Mary, ever help us that we may live and die in grace of God. O oh, Mary, ever help us in whole concerns of soul and body, in sickness and in pain. O oh, Mary, ever help us in struggle against the inclination of corrupt nature. O oh, Mary, ever help us in her sort of evil spirits. O oh, Mary, ever help us in temptation against the holy virtue of purity. O oh, Mary, ever help us in whole danger of sinning. O oh, Mary, ever help us when we reach the end of our heartly curse. O oh, Mary, ever help us when lying on our deathbed and the thought of our approaching dissolution shall fill us with fear and horror. O oh, Mary, ever help us when in the hour of final separation from all, evil spirit shall try to drive us to despair. O oh, Mary, ever help us when the priest of the Lord shall give us the last absolution and blessing. O oh, Mary, ever help us when our relatives and friends surround our bed, weeping and praying for us. O oh, Mary, ever help us when our eyes grow dim and our eyes cease to beat. O oh, Mary, ever help us when we breathe forth our spirit into the hands of our Creator. O oh, Mary, ever help us when our poor soul appears before our divine church. O oh, Mary, ever help us when the terrible judgment is about to be passed. O oh, Mary, ever help us when suffering in flames of purgatory and longing for the vision of God. O oh, Mary, ever help us, Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O oh Lord, Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O oh Lord, Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O oh Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, God who has swear that the mother of thy only begotten son should be perpetual help of Christian on earth, grant us the grace to call on her with confidence in all necessities of soul and body, so that saved through her protection and assistance, you may be brought to the everlasting vision of thy glory in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help, so thy inner session was left unhaded, inspired with this confidence. I fly unto thee, O oh Virgin, O oh Virgin, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Memorial to Saint Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who implored thy help so that in a session were left unheeded. Full of confidence in your power, I fly unto thee. Beg of your protection, despise all guardian of the Redeemer, my humble supplication, but in thy bounty hear and answer me. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do so, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God. Cast into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
to support this channel and to get prayers like this one, please subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell, the notification button to get notifications when new videos are posted. Until next time, may our Lord God, good Lord Jesus Christ, keep and protect you and all those who you love. Peace of Christ.